Let's say it one more time. Nearsightedness makes Neptune not fear. Not fear. Do the people get smaller? You see it? Now watch. Watch the people when I take it away. Did it get bigger? Yeah. So small. So small. Did you see it change? All right. Now you shine. that for me? Sure. The first is, well, I guess it sort of looks like a three-legged elephant. Maybe a hippo? I can't be too sure. I guess the next line has a monkey and a picture of my mother. Wow. How did you get that? Try this and tell me if you're still seeing monkeys. Oh, wow. Those are objects. Now I can see. You just need glasses. Thanks, Dr. Optic. Hey, Red. Hey, Tina. Wow, you have glasses. Uh, that's right. I went to the optometrist, and he checked my eyes. It turns out I was having trouble seeing. Now I have these glasses, and I can see just fine. And we help them to see better. And if we can help them to see better, we can actually impact their lives. And it just doesn't stop at your eyes. And it starts at your eyes, but it comes back to the brain. We're going to talk a little bit more about that. And you can see it as a little gray dot. So that's an optical illusion. It's not really there. Just like you said, your brain thinks it's there, but it's not really there. And we're going to talk a little bit first about how your eye works. Okay? So the iris kind of constricts and it kind of gets bigger. Constricts and it gets smaller and it's option three. Whoa, there's a one. All right, so somebody tell me why it's option three. I see there's a few people with glasses in here. And so the main thing about that is we look for your side. I think it's the R's that cross into the next county. But when they try to look at the post, the reason for that is if you look at it this way, it looks like a person. What happens if I do this? So how many think option number one is the one? I got one Okay, you can see it as the old woman. How many see the young woman? So the other one, the old woman, is looking differently. She's looking kind of straight down. You can see it upside down. You can see it looks different. That's exactly right. See, he kind of gave you a clue up there, didn't he? He said, face is turning up, you know, everything upside down. It was a cold, rainy night. I've been working on the case of Vinny Vision for three months. Thanks, Doc. And now that I knew how we see things, I also knew we needed to get back on the case. Maybe you could throw me a bone here, Juniors. He had denied having it the whole time. But what else can you expect from a liar? So, Officer, you come to let me out of here? Not a chance, Larry. Uh, that's all right. I love it in here. <clears throat> Also again, tell Larry. Him never to stand so close to me in the kitchen when I was frying things so grease wouldn't pop him up in the eyes. I decided to check in with Doc to see if Vinny's problems with the sight could have come from him not being careful with his eyes. Today we are going to learn a little bit about vision, some things that can affect your vision now and in the future. And in doing so, we are going to watch a little video here to simulate a part of it. We're going to 
And so the first one is the cornea. Anybody here wear contacts? Cornea. The cornea is the first part that light hits so that the light can land on your um, retina. So we call it the first refractive system of the eye. Refractive means it has the most nerves per cubic millimeter of anywhere in the eye. This is what a normal retina looks like. This is what I see in the back of your eye. Smokers are more at risk for macular degeneration. You don't see a whole lot through that one, do you? But without my glasses on, a far-sighted person has to wear really sunglasses hard. when you're outside. Take your vitamins, no smoking, eat healthy. How's that? Very good. Okay, we also believe that Krem is conducting strange lab tests that involve the hostages. I vision. must admit. I still don't see why vision is so important. <laughs> right. We need some background information on why vision is so important, and I know just the person to contact, the optometrist. I just called Doc. Yeah. Here are the profiles of the four hostages. Really? What does it say? The first person, Mrs. Shirley Vision. Mrs. Vision has macular degeneration. She was abducted oh. during her weekly We need to bridge. know more about these four vision conditions. Let's send the information for Doc for analysis. Yes. Roger that. Agent Dung, are you in position? Pippi, quickly. You get the hostages and make sure to put on the sunglasses Doc gave us. I'll take care of the rest. Agents, go. My life is a picture frame Full of pretty scenes and painted dreams But the colors they run and they fade Into a desperate world of hopeless scenes So I'll pick up my own paintbrush And follow it through every stroke and I won't try to make it perfect But let each moon bring new hope And there's a lesson to be